Hey, Orange One here with a little uh, public safety announcement. Um, I was just exploring, just kind of running around the map, just seeing what was around, uh, mostly looking for stomachs. And I came across this cat, uh, crash site, and I was looking through some of these things, and I found these uh, medical ampules, a couple first aid kits, and this paramedics book, which I've not seen before as well as this RX-12 jet injector. So we've got tons, tons of really good stuff. Um, yeah, I think, yeah, this injects the medical module. So I might want to carry that around with us in case we need a quick heal. That's just like a quick get out of jail future super drugs, which I hopefully don't end up taking out of the game. Oh, what was that? Oh, it, we got a spider here. They snuck up on me. Good thing I got a good gun. They actually got quite a few attacks in on there. Um, but, you know, we've got our repair nanobot, uh, bot, so we're okay. Uh, we are actually in a fair amount of pain, though. Did they, like, poison me? Yeah, they badly poisoned me. So we're gonna be hurting due to that poison, unfortunately. That's okay. We're fine. Um, yeah, kind of... What I'm thinking right now, just so that you kind of think, see what my thought process is, um, I want to make some more mutagen, but maybe try and do not er, um, cattle mutagen, but do ursine mutagen and make him a little bit more of a bear man. I still have got a fair amount of overlap in uh, like the huge uh, skill tree and whatnot, and pelts I think will be maybe easier to find than just stomachs. Um, I did want to also do some combat in the city here. I was thinking about doing that. Here's the really annoying thing that's been just driving me crazy. Is that there's oftentimes these enemies. Like this smoky bear right here. And he's got no skin or organs. Like I can butcher them. Get some stuff. But like this creature that you might expect to have the organs and the pelt that you need, they don't. So it's a, it's a huge pain. So what I'm thinking is, um, because I want to do some city fighting, is that we come in down here and we make our way down south and then maybe we hunt into these woods looking for like bears and, and whatnot. Stuff that will, will help us um, become stronger. I don't want to go too fast though into the city, so maybe we can... Um, before we go in further, let's just make ourselves um, make ourselves a little food. What food do I have here that's like favorited? Why don't we do like a like a sandwich? If I if I wanted to do like a a sandwich, I think all I need is the bread. Yeah, let's make some bread then. Oh man, we're using all of our flour. Uh, stop crafting, yes. It looks like we are going to have to actually kill some, some zombos first. Uh, hold on. Maybe we'll just back it up a little bit. I'm, there's there's two reasons I'm doing this. Uh, one is that we have a hiking backpack and a gun out right now. And I don't know if I want to shoot my gun off just quite yet. So... What's my inventory at? Eh, I think I might be able to take off the, the hiking backpack. Um, if I tell it to also put some stuff down, I think then I'll be fine. So if I say, hey, put down all that. Then I think it will let me do that. Yep. Cool. And then... Oh, a number of things fell to the grass. Okay, never mind. It's just really quick. I, do, I don't want to um, think that it's put away and not actually have that put away because then we're going to drive on it and destroy everything. You don't want to do that. Okay, um, let's go ahead and get the Jane out. Sure, we'll, we'll wear our gun. Oh no, the spider. And trying to go melee. This might prove to be difficult. Yeah, these guys can be kind of hard to hit. But it looks like our armor is protecting us perfectly. Nice. Okay, cool. Okay, that's uh, 
continue working on that craft of the bread. Um, ignore. I think that we're just poisoned still. And let's go ahead and make ourselves a deluxe sandwich. Yeah. Um, I might... Yeah, let's just eat it now. I might take uh, a second sandwich with us in there. And I'm actually just now realizing that I haven't fed our companion in a while, so he's probably pretty hungry. Um, if I go to M, he's actually just thirsty right now. His hunger is fine. Huh, that's interesting. Okay, well, in any case, um, we need some water. Yeah, I'll have some of that. Okay, that's all of the water that I need, but our friend here needs a little bit of water too, so... We'll siphon a little bit. Oh, nope, it's all frozen. Never mind. Um, can I make some tea? Yes, I can. Oh, I can make chamomile tea. Let's make four units of chamomile tea. Um, and we'll put that in a thermos, and I'll take that thermos. Uh, yeah, there we go. Nope, I can't. I suppose it's probably the gallon jug that I'm carrying. Yep. And then tea. Yep, that looks good to me. So I've got quite a bit of ammo. I've got a sandwich. I've got tea. I think that we're good to get into the city and do some fighting. It's kind of funny in this game because it's like you actually do kind of have to account for some of that stuff. And I think actually I'm going to have my friend here get into a little bit of combat. Um, just to see how he does. I think his mutations aren't great combat-wise. But I am just curious to see what kind of damage he does on this uh, ethereal zombie. I'm just going to get this so you can actually see it. Oh, it bit his left arm. You can do it. Come on, buddy. It cuts them... I mean, that does pretty good. That's an ethereal zombie. Keep that in mind. Ethereals can be kind of tough. Um, we're about to get boomered if we don't do anything. Uh, let's go ahead and get the coil gun out because I don't think we need to actually use... Oh, no, I need... Wait, UPS. Yeah, I thought I had this, so we should be good in that um, front. And let's turn off the sensory dueling. There we go. Oh, come on, this thing has to go down. Oh, man, I still got boomered. I suppose I might as well just get the Jane out then. If I've already, if I already got boomered. How are you doing over there, Harvey? If I look at your wounds, your left arm, it looks like this thing bit you pretty hard. It does actually have a pretty nasty bite, that thing, so. I need to keep that in mind. Actually, I'm just curious, what is your ability to fight? You actually are terrible at fighting, but you already already got better at dodging in that fight. Um, I might want to see about doing first aid on you, though. Let's get some first aid. If I am going to have this guy fight, we're going to want to have some um, bandages and whatnot on us. Sure, let's, uh, let's take the 13 bandages. And the antiseptic. We'll just take one random one and Yeah, it's got a good amount of antiseptic. I think that that should be good. Yeah, Harvey, let's let's get in here. Um before we get in there though. Uh use item antiseptic. I'm there. I know that we're wasting our bandages by applying them right now. Um, because he doesn't really need it, but I think that we're going to be fighting for quite a while. Is that what I think it is? Yeah, it's like an incandescent hulk. Okay, so we're going to need to shoot him. Okay, let's just get the gun out then, if we're going to have to shoot. Incandescent hulk, you're going down. There we go, that wasn't so bad. And I am going to conserve our ammo. I know, maybe we should just be putting the gun down. I don't think these guys are good enough fighters to really concern me. Especially if I 1v1 them. 
or 2v1 them? How are you doing against that firefighter? Good. See, see how useful he is? Hello friend, how are you doing? See, his torso actually got hurt there. So we do have to be careful because you are actually getting kind of hurt there. Um, maybe I should be getting you better armor because I think you're just like in army gear right now. You're not in like survivor gear. Well, I think as long as we are not pushing it too much, we're okay. That Kevlar Hulk though, are they coming over here? Or what? I mean, I, I was shooting a gun earlier, so I thought that they would have heard that. I think it's time to, for us to stop being so cautious. Um, yeah, let's actually get that those on. Because we're, we're going to be making some noise. And Har Harvey, please don't get in my line of sight. Oh man, he's going to get in my line of sight. I'm going to need to run... No. RV, please don't do this. This is so annoying. Okay, there we go. Uh, can I get my... My joint servo is actually already on. I'm just trying to get like to the side so that when Harvey runs in front of me, which I know he will, I can still get a shot on this guy who's going to try hitting him pretty hard. I don't know if I, if I want you fighting Nadir's, man. Like, honestly, that is a pretty tough enemy. If you can take him out before I can get a shot off, great. But if not, yeah, I'll help out a little bit. Cool. I'll, I'll, I'll let you deal with him, though. Right? You can deal with that. And you're missing wildly. So maybe I should uh, let's stop running, at least. I'll take aim. Uh, we'll give you a little bit longer trying to hit him. Okay, now we gotta we gotta react. There we go. Not too bad. Especially if we have him to like kind of make sure we don't get overwhelmed or like hit when I'm trying to take a shot. I think that actually that could be a nice combo. As long as I don't hit him. If I try and shoot that hunting dog, that's that's nice and open for me. That's good. Cool. What if, okay, so now we've got a couple people running up on him. I'm going to go for the nadir, because they're the one that really can get through his armor the best. Um, and sure, we'll get him off your back. And he actually killed one there. I don't know if you saw that. Harvey, you're uh, you're doing nice, nice work over here. How's your wounds? I mean, these body parts are kind of hurt as well. I do need to keep that in, in mind. And it's not an awful lot, though. Um, I'm going to see if I can kill that ethereal zombie. Because as you saw, that was, again, like someone that can actually get through Harvey's armor. I'm going to let Harvey get a little bit of experience. There we go. Good job, Harvey. I'm proud of you. And did they hurt you? Eh, it looks like they hurt your arm, actually. Yeah, Harvey's going to end up being much, much more deadly, but he A, needs to get better mutations, and I need to actually give him some better armor. But it's okay to do a little bit of fighting right now with him. I'm actually going to tell you, Harvey, actually, I can't talk to you. I was going to tell him to smash corpses if he could, but no dice. I'm going to actually just smash corpses and let you take care of the ones that are coming in. You can handle the hunting dog. I mean, don't they explode? Yeah, they explode. Okay, so um, let's take out our earplugs. Um, yeah, and then I'm going to talk to Harvey about bodies. Uh, where's your rules? Miscellaneous rules. Um, yes, go ahead, smash, smash zombies. Okay, let's go. And he'll say, oh, I gotta smash this, I gotta smash that, right? Um, I'm just gonna let you do that. Are these all smashed already, Harvey? Are we good? 
I think that we're good to go. Um, I think I'm nauseous because I've been boomered, but he looks like he's okay. It looks like this actually is a really empty part of town. I don't know why, because, um, and we've been shooting a lot. South, I'm hearing wumps a lot. I suspect that there's going to be some action. Um, we should, oh, firefighter, what, they, these guys, okay. I'm going to just do a little bit of first aid on you. Oh, oh, what? Um, he got bit on his leg. Um, did I, did I get it done? Yes, it's been cleaned, good. Okay, so let's get that right arm disinfected as well. And some bandages on there. Good. Cool. And I think I might kind of want Harvey to take it easy from this point on. And he got a little bit of experience there. Kind of cool. Um, but I mean, if we talk to him... Yeah, like he's not even that strong. I mean, that's pretty strong, but like... His traits are... Like, he really should have horns. Um, that'd really help him in the fight. I mean, tough is pretty good. Very strong is pretty good. But, like, he can get, like, some insane, insane mutations, which I'm hoping to get by the end of this episode. Um, speaking of which, let's go ahead and... Um, hold on. No, I want to reload with the bullets. There we go. Into those, those magazines. Cool. Um, let's go ahead. He's not sitting in the other seat. Actually, you know why? Um... Hold on, just give me a second. Because we're probably not going to have Birdman with us, we can unassign this seat. Because this seat right now is assigned to um, Louie. So if I go to, I think it's uh, W. And then I can say, hey, no, it's, uh, it's for Harvey. And then now Harvey will, should go and sit there. Yeah, cool. Um, I do need to be careful though, because I may need to put a seat on the outside of our vehicle uh, for transporting Harvey back to our base, because Harvey is going to be a big boy when we're done with all of this. And he might take up some space. Um, let's go ahead and just up north the and below you hear cr crash and below. That could be a lab, but I think it's a basement. Um, is there a Kevlar zombie? I think I'm seeing, like, on here that there's a Kevlar zombie around here. Yeah, there's a Kevlar Hulk right there. So there's quite a few that we're going to have to fight through here. Let's just back up just a little bit. Um, yeah. Because I just don't want to get overwhelmed. I'm actually just gonna drive into the corrosive zombie. Oh, oh. Did I actually smash into the, um... I don't think I actually smashed into the thing, though. Right? No. So he's gonna keep on shooting acid at me. That's fine. Oh, look, there's like a little farm there with like some barley or something. Man, this corrosive zombie. I wish we could kill him. If I'm not actually getting him. That's really annoying me, actually. <laughs> um, we're gonna have to just shoot him or something. Okay, let's... Uh, we'll get out this way. Because then I can stop Harvey from getting out. And getting into the fight. Because I'd rather take these guys out myself. Let's just get it done, man. You know? They'll just, like, shoot, make some noise. Those guys that were down there should make their way up here, right? Or not. I think I've got a suppressor on that might be making it so that they don't come as much. Man, there was a lot of shots that were fired around here. I wonder if there's any bullets left in this gun. Nope, no gun actually even there. Okay, well that's a nice little in and out in case we need it. Uh, what about in here? There is a gun. I'm gonna pick that up. Cool. And we are out of breath. 
Um, but we got some zombies inbound. There's an acid streak still there. Sure, we'll just like shoot these guys and probably our Beth will, will come back by the time they've gotten to us. Okay, we do have a blob glob coming. I'm gonna just get the sword out for this. I honestly could have used the sword on uh, those, all those, all three of those enemies. But Nosh, you know, he, he likes to use his boomsticks. You know, so they're four. Uh, I think I might just leave the acid splatter and see if I can take out this listener in melee. Um, let's see, let's just heal up just a little bit more. We'll turn off the joint servo just because we're a little bit low on power right now. Hello. What are you? Oh, you're the Hulk. Okay. I was trying to see if I could pull the others away from the Hulk, not realizing the Hulk was actually way, way closer to us than the others. And that's all for that clip. And I'm realizing that we're going into this combat, um, not um, having all of our breath, which is kind of dumb. I think we can kill it though. I'm gonna just maybe shoot a little bit sooner than I probably should do. I need to not forget about that magazine, but I mean, actually if I do, it's not a big deal. Let's go back for the magazine. I've got tons of bullets. Get the, uh, get the Jane back out. Uh oh, that thing actually confused me for a second there. Uh oh. They, uh, maybe I shouldn't be trying to melee these guys. They're kind of hard to hit right now. There we go. We're fine. I think. Uh, maybe we're not fine. We got the repair nanobots. There we go. Let's get the gun back out. Um, wait, really? We're infected on the head now? That seems unfair. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get our adrenaline going. Just because I'm a little bit nervous with that wound and the bleeding. Okay, the adrenaline has done its job. We're good now, I think. Um, I just need to disinfect head wound and look it's resolved great um maybe i should focus on actually trying to survive right now instead of trying to smash yeah uh God, a juggernaut i hate these things so much they take so many bullets i need a faster way of taking care of them you know what keep keep the magazine i think that we, i ended up yeah i grabbed the other magazine so we're okay you know, honestly, this guy could smash me and I'd be fine, I think. I'd rather not if I don't have to, you know? Can I outwalk you if I'm walking? How's my speed compared to your speed? It's actually pretty close. It looks to me like I'm a little bit faster, maybe, but not much. Okay, I'm fast enough, though, where it's, it's worth it, though, to just get that distance. And that's a survivor zombie. Cool. Um, oh, I thought I killed you. Nope, I did not kill him. No, 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 no. Master almost revived this skeletal juggernaut, I swear to God. If that happened, uh, yes, I would have been very mad. There we go. Again, I'm sorry for the heartbeat. Um, I mean, I think we could get away from the blobs. I just want to make sure I don't forget about that, that body. I'm just gonna, oh man, really? I was just trying to get to my car. Just trying to get to my car, man. Can't let me even do that. 
and now I'm confused. Okay, now we're good. I'm just gonna get inside the car just because I want like a minute in the real world to kind of collect my thoughts. Um, sure, we'll take that because that's a whole clip, I think. And then I'm gonna reload my other magazines and catch a breath. Yeah, there we go. And what do I see around me? It's a nadir right there. I can I can deal with that. Hello. Yeah, I really like my deathmobile. That's that makes it so easy to do stuff like that. Uh, what do we have here? Yeah. And then I think yeah, that was one that was chasing me. And then hazmat zombie. You gotta go down too. And it's kind of crazy that we've got like this hoofed creature in our car and it's like not even that deadly compared to us. You know what I mean? I mean, he's he's not like pathetic, but it's just insane like how powerful this character is. Um, oh, our scarf is ruined. I, I haven't been repairing my gear as much as I probably should be. Oh, really? You, slimy, is that what that is? I think that's what that effect is. I also need to make sure I get enough battery power charge um, because we're we're kind of going to run into that issue soon. As far as I remember, we needed to get that taken care of. Why am I not picking up the blob blobs? It's within my volume and I thought it was on my pickup list. Maybe it's not. Um, we've cleared a good amount of those zombies out that were down here, though. I might... Oh my gosh. Wow. Oh god. This is bad. That ethereal zombie just wrecked me. Um, let's get into the car. That smoker is gonna be really annoying. Let's wait for a minute. Yeah, they'll smash a couple times, so they're not actually gonna get in. Uh, let's get the mask on, and we'll see if we can get out to the smoker. I'm gonna actually walk out, and let's get our gun out. I should've probably done that inside the car, actually. Oh, there's a master here. I should probably take you out first, then. I'll just take a couple steps back. Uh, this thing's gotta be annoying. I ha- I kinda have to kill this thing first. These things are getting through my armor a lot more than I thought they would. Uh, okay, this is getting a little annoying. We got a smoker now that's trying to harass me. I don't, I don't want to shoot the master. I need the smoker gone right now. I know. But I know where he is, so it's saying that I can't see him, but I actually can. I can shoot him and take aim at him. Even though in the tiles I'm not seeing him, I actually know where he is. So I can still shoot and kill him. Like that. Um, I'm, at, I'm in a lot of pain there. By slowing me down a fair amount. Uh, if I could shoot that guy, I'd like to. Yeah, the master's dead. Okay. Cool. Let's take out the ethereal one then. And what else is there around here? There's a spitter right there. I'll probably take you out. Nadir as well. Yep, that needs to go. Five damage. I did five damage to that Nadir that time. Oh, the blob's probably gonna interrupt me soon. I need to move. Is it good by hearing, you know? Um, man, we've taken a good amount of zombies, but we've not gotten much closer to my goal of getting to those woods. Um, should take out the blobs just really quick, I guess. And then I'm going to actually just get into the car. And... Something that I haven't been doing that I probably should do more of is just using the car to smash corpses like this. Like all these corpses that have been collected behind us, 
we can actually just run those over. Just need to make sure that I can get enough speed to do so. Like, you can see that we just, because we're driving over the items, they're getting destroyed. I'm gonna just, you know, yeah, kill a couple zombies that way. And just clear out this area, just a little bit. And I think that that actually has destroyed the portion of the body. And the zombies themselves. The unfortunate thing about doing that is that we're also destroying our loot by driving over the bodies, so I wouldn't recommend doing that, especially in the early game, unless you're like, it's like life or death. Um, but we're kind of at the point in the game where I just don't really care. <laughs> you know, like in complete honesty. If I could run over that Hulk, that'd be great. Yeah, uh, we did not run over the Hulk. Um, I thought that's... Is that not the tile that he's on? Sometimes the tiles confuse me. I think that should have got him, but it didn't. Okay, well, I'm kind of done with this. So we're just gonna drive through. And it, the population's pretty light here, it looks like, so we should be able to get through to the forest. And then hopefully we can get us some... What on earth is this? Are those landmines just in your yard? I've not seen that before. I'm pretty sure there's landmines there, but maybe it's uh, actually just construction work. Yeah, actually, yeah, I think that's what it's supposed to be. It's like just construction work on the side of the road. A zombie master can't revive anyone if I don't kill anyone. <laughs> that's the little little secret there. They don't want us to know. Oh, look, a deer. Oh, you know what? I think that actually um, there was a stomach that I had gotten recently. I think we have close to enough. Um, are there two deer there? There's two deer, guys. Okay, I'm just going to extend this episode just for a little bit longer to kill these two deer, get their stomachs, and um, get some more cattle mutagen. Oh, where did they go? They're trying to run away. Uh, did I hit it? I did not. I don't know if I'm hitting them or not. I don't think I am. Because I'm not seeing the message. I think they're getting... They're, they just snuck behind the trees. Yeah, see like that deer right there? I might have to take the shot before it's precise. Like I was trying to take a precise shot. Oh, actually that's perfect. That's, that's just what I needed. Where's the other deer though? We got one of them, but I'm pretty sure that we didn't shoot the other. Unless I didn't see the message. Um, seeing one deer corpse, not seeing the second. I bet that they, they got away. Let's just take a second and look at the deer. There's a deer corpse I can see right there. Oh, look. Oh, our friend is actually trying to hit the uh, web spiders. He actually killed one. Nice work. Very nice work, actually. Um, if you want to watch my six while I do this um, dissection, that would be good. Um, just a field dress. See, there's that large stomach that I was telling you about. Uh, there, I, I know the other deer is around here somewhere. I can like, feel their presence. just can't see them. See, this is what I was doing, like, off-camera. Trying to get those stomachs. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not seeing them right now. Maybe I did shoot them. It is possible that I did actually kill them already. But, I mean, I don't know. The shame is, the thing is, is that I need the other 
stomach to make the other cattle um, dose. I swear, I think they've they ran all the way through the woods. Are they here? There was a pocket deer. That'll that'll do. Where's the pocket deer? Uh, 58 tiles away. Can I hit that from here? I can. Wait, what? It reflected off their hide. Okay, there we go. They're dead. A bullet reflected off a pocket deer's hide. I just, you know, I just want to process that for a second. Okay, we killed actually two pocket deer there. Is there a third pocket deer? Okay, we might actually have enough for mutagen then. You're hostile to me. Uh, you're, or are you hostile to the ant larvae? Oh, no. They kind of got away? Maybe. I'm just going to take a shot if I got a good chance of hitting. Yep, there we go. Okay, that's three pocket deer down. Um, we'll take out the stomachs as fast as I can. Ooh, actually, we got lucky there. We almost didn't get that stomach. Uh, field dress. Maybe the other organs got shot or something. And I almost want to take those other things because they're good for crafting uh, beast mutagen, but I don't know if we want to do beast mutagen. Uh, where was number three? There was another deer, wasn't there? Uh, mangled carcass, mangled carcass. I know that there's another one. I killed. I just don't see it right now. Wasn't there? Wasn't there? There was a third one. I know there was. Just, I I should have taken better note of where I, I fired to kill him. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm really sorry, actually. Uh... I know I shot from, like, down here, so I must have been able to see them from down here, right? Uh, it's just these two carcasses up here. I, I think he's on a bush. Because I think what happened is that I shot him, and he landed on, like, a bush, and I was, like, hidden. Because that does happen sometimes. Maybe I should just look for a little bit of blood. Or something. I also just want to be walking by the bushes. Oh man, really? This is so annoying. And yeah, and our stomachs are... They've already gone some, from fresh to going off. That's so annoying. Well, we have enough to make some mutagen. I'm just gonna go back to the car. I, because I said I was gonna do this long so you guys could see us make mutagen. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna go back and make the mutagen. It will just go a little bit long this episode. Um, I'm also just moving a little bit slower because I'm keeping an eye out for that deer that we missed just a little bit ago. It's kind of cool how this um, has made me play in a certain way, hunting after the stomachs. You know, at first I was really upset about it, but like this is kind of interesting having to literally go out and hunt. Okay, so I think I've got enough for cattle mutagen, just one. I think I already had some cow mutagen laying around here, possibly. Yes, I did. So we'll use the blob blobs that I've been collecting because we've been killing things. Uh, I think that I have a container on me. And let's go ahead and give this to, if I say, I want you to use this and cow serum. Let's see what you get. Or no, oh, you, do you need a syringe? Uh, I think you need a syringe. Let's trade items. Ah, where? How do I? Okay, I remember this now. Do I have the syringe on me? I do not. 
There we go. Come with me, friend. And hopefully you don't end up destroying any of your gear. It, and that is always a, a chance of happening. So F and then Cal Serum. Okay, let's see. What did you get? Inconveniently large. Extremely strong. Pacifist. I'm pacifist. I don't think really affects us, but let's see um, how did that affect your abilities. See, look at his strength. It went from 11 to 15. It just went up by 4. So, um, inconveniently large. So, like, that's a really good trait. Um, pacifist, what's that? <laughs> I wonder if that actually does slow down his ability to learn attack. If so, I'm going to give him, like, a uh, lupine until he's he gets over that. And look, that's where the other strength came from. Cool. All right, well, we do, do now have a extremely strong axe-wielding ally. I bet he's able to kill things a lot more effectively now. I might also work on some armor for him in between episodes. In any case, uh, thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.